Welcome to our endoscopic video case report titled Radio Frequency Ablation as a treatment option for early stages of varicose esophageal carcinoma. A 47-year-old male with stenosing varicose carcinoma of the mid and distal esophagus underwent abdominal thoracic esophagectomy with intrathoracic anastomosis 27 cm from the incisors. Here, the initial regular postoperative situation can be seen. Twenty-two months later, a relapse in the whole esophageal circumference occurred with typical disseminated spot-like white lesions. Now, the following radiofrequency ablation of the whole remaining esophagus is presented. This shows the local recurrence only at the site of anastomosis, whereas the remaining esophagus has been in remission for 18 months after RFA. Conclusion Radiofrequency ablation is well validated for dysplastic Barrett's disease and has also become increasingly accepted for early squamous cell carcinoma of the esophagus. In our case, RFA led to complete tumor remission of varicose esophageal carcinoma except for the area of anastomosis. The reasons for this outcome might be that the penetration depth of the tumor was too deep at the anastomotic site or that the anastomotic tissue was too uneven for a tight connection between the RFA catheter and the esophageal wall. However, RFA treatment was very effective for the remaining esophagus. Due to the slow and semi-malignant growth of varicose esophageal carcinoma, an attempt of RFA treatment appears to be acceptable in order to prevent or at least postpone the need for surgery.